brass ears so that she can get you down easily. There was the case of an agent of the devil. Sent to a powerful man of God without pant. She went to the room where he used for counseling. As the man of God laid hands on her for prayers, she fell and become naked. When the pastor looked at her, he became confused. He never knew when he removed his trousers and committed adultery with her. The power of God left him instantly. There was one man of God that had been a terror to the demonic world. He had been tried in divers ways but to no avail. The devil sent me to tempt and make sure he was brought down. It is usually very risky to try a powerful man of God. So I decided to risk my life to see that. The power of God left him. However, this man had no wife. I turned into Breeze and flew to his residence. On getting there, the fire from on high was burning on the doorpost. There was fire everywhere. I risked my life to make sure that the power of God left this man. So, I quickly turned and went into the man's house naked. He never knew what was happening, as he was still on the bed covered with the fire. The Christians are highly secured. I drew nearer the bed, woke him up and told him that he had been disturbing us and that I was sent. This was happening by 2 a.m. The man could not run because the was locked until finally the devil threw me made him to sin and the power of God left him immediately but he rose again in the arm of the Lord and never fell again, if we confess our sins, he, the Lord, is faithful and just to forgive our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, 1 John 1 9. Amen. They Devil has been trying and has always been a failure while God is prevailing and winning. Everywhere all the time. Amen. Chapter 7 Classification of Demons into Levels 333, 666, 777 and 999 Ephesians Chapter 6 verse 12 records, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The devil classifies principalities as levels 333, powers as level 666, rulers of the darkness of the world as level 777 and spiritual wickedness in high places as level 999. Different classes of demons operate in these Ranks with different assignments. A level 333 is the rank of the beginners. It also has upper and lower levels. The witches and wizards in levels 333 and are called local demons. Their duties are to suppress people, tie people, and hinder people's progress. Level 666 is the rank of the Antichrist that will rule the world with iron hand after Jesus has taken his people at the rapture. The Ogbonis get their power from level 666, that is, why it is a wicked society. They derive their power from a wicked source autocratic people. Some of the demons that operate in that category execute wickedness in low places and some of them operate on land. They are called federal demons. Level 777 is the rank of the Queen of the Coast who is Matron of the Sea and some other subordinates like Beelzebub who is the Prince of the Powers of the Air and the One responsible for issuing of powers of the Witches and Wizards. The Queen's Heaven also fall within this level. They are called National Demons because they operate nationwide. Levels 999 higher and upper level is the rank of Satan rebellious angel who deceived so. Many other angels that were thrown down with him. He is the president of demons. He is the spiritual wickedness in high places and executes wickedness in high places. Corruption. 18 immoralities and disobedience are operated by him and are known as an international demon. He has some subordinates like Leviathan the Piercing and Crooked Serpent. Isaiah 27:1 who is also a level 999 candidate. 
he is in charge of the demons in the water. Demons that live in the water are very wicked. They took the decision to be more wicked. Than other classes of demons because they had the conviction that man can do without other things but cannot do without water. Chapter 8 The World in the Water The world in the water is an attractive and beautiful demonic world beyond human sight. It is a home of fashion and cosmetics. Most of the fashions are designed from the water. Some people on earth transact business with the demons in the water. Before someone is Qualified to have a business link with the water world, such a person is required to submit some specific heads of human beings. That person is then given an invoked egg and some international demons. It is required of the person to throw the egg into the water after which the egg would direct him or her to the underground world where the person would buy some of the items of his slash her choice. Demons had been invoked into those items and had been Dedicated to the Queen of the Coast who is the Matron of the Sea so that she can reach out to More people, those who buy them, in the physical world in her operations. Most of the houses you see in the physical world are designed from the water. There are Computers in the water for computerizing the network of blood flow and some other Works They also have machine rooms used for grinding invoked human beings and Making creams Telescopes are also available in the water world to know where anything is situated on earth and also to aid invocations. There are well-equipped hospitals, which exist for the treatment of any agent of the devil that sustains injury in the course of the operating in the Christian territory. They have trained doctors working in the hospitals. These people just disappear from the physical world through tragic means and appear in the water world. They the doctors, were trained in the world but are now under the control of the devil who has captured them. A standard laboratory and fortified chemicals are there for destruction. Different of workers and people who can invent wonderful things are also in the water world to manufacture flashy cars and other items. Money is stored in banks guarded by demonic policemen. There are international, national, federal, and local blood banks in the world. They have places of learning like higher institution called Institute of Demons where one can have any kind of training man can think of in life. Certificates are issued after graduation to certify that one was once a student of demonic institution. Soldiers are trained in the water to wage war against the heavenly hosts but they are always failing because God is the captain of the heavenly army and cannot be defeated, Joshua 5,13-15. People go to the water world to acquire powers and it is the queen of the coast that is responsible for the issuing out of such powers. A day is usually set aside for this purpose. On such a day of power acquisition, I used to be with her in the room because of my intimacy with her. In those days, I would sleep in her house using pythons as my pillow with other pythons lying by my sides exchanging duties. In her room, there are lots of big drums of blood and fearful human skulls. She never allowed me to enter her inner chambers where powers are invoked. As people come one after the other, powers would be given to them. This woman, Queen of the Coast, would go to her inner room and conjure demons or powers. And an unusual noise would be heard in the house while the atmosphere would be 19 changed immediately. Those powers are invoked into rings. After the people have made some sacrifices and submissions, the rings would be given to them with the instruction that they should be putting their ringed hands in their pockets and go about boasting. It is a pity that such people are going about boasting and challenging other people because of the powerless power they possess is a power that can be challenged and destroyed by the power of God. This power can disappear at the mentioning of the name of Jesus. Stop boasting with that little power that can fade and come to Jesus who will give you the divine and highest power that other powers cannot withstand. Philosophy 2 9:10 says Wherefore God also hath highly exalted himself, and given him a name which is above 
every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth Jesus Christ has unchanging powers and he declares in Matthew 28 18b that all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 8. Amen. Demons are trained in the water and sent out to this earth to be spraying diseases on crops. When these crops are eaten, they are harmful to unbelievers but harmless to Christians. Because whatsoever they, Christians, touch with their hands are sanctified by the blood of Jesus for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer, 1 Timothy 4,4-5. It is a pity that some Christians do not pray again before eating because they are in a haste. When you want to eat, sprinkle the blood of Jesus which is powerful and capable of neutralizing diseases so that you can eat without any harmful effects, Mark 16:18. They train demons of immorality in the water and push them into the earth to influence the youths to pollute the earth with sexual immorality. That is why it is common to see young boys and girls committing fornication everywhere a game of blood that is played with the body. The Bible says that you should run away from fornication, for every sin that a man commits is outside the body but anyone that see omits fornication sins against his or her own body which is the temple of the Holy Ghost and you are not the owner of your body. For whosoever defiles God's temple, God will destroy, 1 Corinthians 6,18-20, 3,16-17, the devil is making you to misbehave so that you can offend God. Remember. Now the Creator in the days of thy youth, Ecclesiastes 12 colon 1. Chapter 9 This chapter covers the expository of some fake or false churches that operate in our present time. Fake or false churches mean those churches that are not established on Christ. Apostle Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians Christians, 2 Corinth 11 colon 13. 15 had foretold us the existence of false apostles and deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of Christ, and that it is not a surprising thing for Satan to transform himself into an angel of light. Three types of such churches are mentioned in this chapter. Go through all thoroughly to differentiate and to understand the craftiness of Satan to deceive the world. Do not be deceived for Christ has come to save us. The Alumba Alumba Obu Alumba Alumba Obu is a powerless foolish agent of the devil. As recorded in Matthew 24 5-4. Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many, he is one of the false prophets that has deceived many by performing false miracles. People are too conscious of miracles. That the pure word of God these days. Almost everything people think and chase in this 20 age is miracle. The Bible records in Matthew 6 verse 3 3 that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things, the miracles you need, shall be added unto you. But since people do not seek God first, there is every tendency that the devil must come with a way of blindfolding them through deceptive miracles, Revelation 13 11-14. 1920. Fake churches are established everywhere in the name of miracle to deceive people and suck their blood for satanic operations. As church is established, spiritual connections are made. In their churches, the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, spiritual pins are placed on the floor. And spiritual long tubes connected to these pins from the church to the demonic international blood bank. The truth is that no born-again Christian with the fire of the Holy Ghost is allowed to enter, to prevent the spiritual pins from being consumed by fire. Those who are ignorant and whose consciousness have been subdued by the devil are deceived into entering their churches with their bare legs, without shoes or slippers, thereby making it possible for their blood to be sucked as they march on those spiritual pins and tubes. There is 
always a frequent flow of blood and with the aid of the blood, they are able to perform counterfeit miracles. As a result of the blood, which they constantly suck in such churches, their members always look pale and drained. When you ask any of their members to tell you who Alumba is, they will refer to how Jesus Christ promised sending the Comforter after getting to heaven and that Alumba is that promised Comforter. Alumba is not the promised Comforter he is of the devil who is a murderer and the father of lies, John 8 44. The promised Comforter is the Holy Ghost. Alumba lives at Calabar and eats food and drinks blood but the Holy Ghost has no physical form but resides in every born-again child of God. Amen, 1 Corinth 3 16, 6 19. The Holy Ghost leads one to all truth. John 14 16-17 The Holy Ghost does not run away when the name of Jesus is being mentioned. But Olumba runs away at the mentioning of the name of the exalted Jesus. The real Olumba died in 1975 and the one operating now is an incarnate of him from Liberia who operates on levels 333 lower level, a junior staff to me when I was in the evil world. Olumba is qualifying as God and claims to be omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. Olumba Olumba Obu is abbreviated with three zeros. O.O. .o. In the Holy Scriptures, we have three dignities. God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Ghost, Matthew 28, 19,2 Corinthians 13, 14, John 17, 26, 15, 26, 1 Peter 1, 2, 1 John 5, 7. The three representative zeros of Olumba means, respectively that where God is, Olumba is zero and where the Holy Ghost is Olumba is zero. He, Olumba, is absolutely nothing and flees when the name of Jesus is mentioned so many people say that they also call Jesus as we do. They call Jesus in hypocrisy and of course they have another Jesus they call but not the Jesus Christ who died on the cross and rose from the dead and gave us victory over the devil. Olumba turns to different kind of things. When I had not repented, I had a physical encounter with one of their Bethels in Port Harcourt. I appeared from the water and told Olumba that I wanted to come out and laugh over the ignorance and intelligence of his people and he said I should go on. I went to their Bethel pretending as if I had a problem and asked for help. They told me that unless I am baptized immediately by immersion, my problem would not be solved. So, they took me to one red river at Abba Road and asked me to Undress but I told the so-called pastor that he was too inferior to look at my nakedness. He began to invoke Olumba to appear but he refused to appear because he knew I was there, Olumba always appear in red. After that they took me back to their church and dropped a pepperish substance into my eyes after which Olumba appeared and started begging me that I should not expose him and went further to tell me that he was born to deceive people and that he would die deceiving people. They know the game they play on those who fall into their trap. Stop seeking help where there is no help. Dear reader, no name can save that the name of Jesus, Acts 4:12. Jesus said in Matthew 11:28 that come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Also, in Amos 5 colon 4 God makes a solemn call to his children to seek him so that we can have life. You are therefore advised to follow the right channel that Christ has cleared for us. 21 The White Garment Churches The White Garment Churches are not built upon foundation of Christ. They are not part of the Church of Christ and are therefore not places for worshipping God in spirit and truth. These Churches are the possessions of the devil who controls their activities. He inspires them to give false prophecies. The devil is a liar and so all the prophecies he gives through his followers in the white garment churches are his lies, John 8:44. He makes the members to appear in such white uniforms so as to deceive people. Since these members appear in white, the devil appears like angel of light in these places. 
2 Corinth 11 14 15. Since the members appear in white, the demons assigned to these churches bear the names of the angels of God and go with these deceitful names. The pastors of the white garment churches have and maintain communication links with the demons in the water, which make them to have the power to foresee events. They do not only inspire them to have fake prophecies but also answer their prayers and because the devil is a real counterfeit being, he makes the problems disappear temporarily. After some time these problems come back again. Every unbeliever is assigned an international demon who is directly responsible for his slash her problems. Just because the unbeliever has been totally subdued, his slash her thinking. Faculty would be directed to these fake churches when problems confront them. When he later goes to consult the devilish pastor about any problems confronting her slash him, the man of the devil, Wally, would listen to the problem attentively as the unbeliever explains it to him. After this, he will go into the inner chamber to use his spiritual telephone to call the demon responsible for that problem to appear. When the demon comes out, the white garment pastor, Wally, will ask him what he would like to eat so that he could be appeased. To leave the sufferer for some time, the demon will demand for things like goat, fowl, yam, and so many other things. The wolf will then count these things for the man slash woman to buy. The devil has no mercy for anyone not even the poor. Whether you are poor and cannot live well and therefore cannot afford these things is not the business of the devil. It is not even the concern of Satan if you go and borrow money to buy such things for the sacrifice no wonder Jesus calls the devil a thief whole soul business is to steal, kill and destroy in John 10. The devil can go to any extent to devise means to steal money from your purse. Beware. After the prescribed things have been bought, they will be offered as sacrifice in the water. Thereafter, the international demon assigned to the unbeliever will be exchanged with a local demon accompanied with a withdrawal spirit. After this exchange, it will seem as if the problem has been solved but because of the fact that it has been accompanied with a withdrawal spirit, the problem will appear again. This will make the man slash woman to Run to the pastor again who in turn will ask him slash her to bring other items again for sacrifice until he slash she is subjected to abject poverty. The devil is a thief, know that Jesus has made the sacrifice that covers every of our needs once and for all. Hebrew 10 14 18 The eternal sacrifice was made by Jesus on the cross and so every other sacrifice belongs to the devil. COL 2 colon 13 14, Hebrew 11 to 15, 23 to 28. It should be noted that the demon can also instruct the man slash woman through the pastor to buy either seven white, blue, red, or black candles that would be used to round his slash her head seven times for the perfection of demons in him slash her. The argument of Satan is that since God rested on the seventh day and seven is the number of perfection, the seven candles will be used to perfect the demons and their properties in the life of the person concerned. 22 Secondly, a person may also be asked to buy evil stop oil to attract demons to the person's life. Thirdly, they can ask one to buy black thread with which the womb can be tied up to prevent pregnancy or hinder the person's possession. Fourthly, a person could also be Asked to buy and light incense in his house. In the spirit world, each incense represents and attracts 73, 73, different demons with different assignments. So when a person uses his money to buy demons, the only option open to them is to do their work. You can now see how people ignorantly buy demons to their houses. Anywhere they, the buyers, go to they will be moving with demons. They still have holy water in these fake churches. When I was still part of the demonic world, I was among the agents that supply their so-called holy water. When anyone enters their churches, 
the first thing they do is to sprinkle water on him, which automatically transfer seven international demons into him. The demons will commence their work immediately in the person and would come to real full manifestation after seven years when their properties would have been perfected in him. Unless God intervenes, the demonized individual is in for real a trouble. It may also happen that pregnant women in such churches give birth to children with dreadlock hair, da da hair. To be allowed to cut such hair, they will make the parents of such children to offer sacrifices. 1 John 1 6 Say if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not say the truth. So you cannot claim to be fellowshipping with the Lord Jesus Christ by engaging yourself in the demonic practices of these white garment churches. You are either knowingly or unknowingly having real fellowship with the devil and his demonic hosts. 2. Not deceive yourselves by going to such satanic agencies for any spiritual help. Only Jesus Christ can remove all burdens from man, Matt 11:28. Come unto Jesus with all your load of cares and he will give you rest if you do it through the right means. The devil will add more loads to your problem if you begin to attend such white garment churches. Come out from among them, and be ye separate. 2 COR 617 Come to the Lord and begin to walk in the light so that you can enjoy the best and satisfying everlasting fellowship with Him, 1 John 1 7, You need to identify yourself with a full Bible-believing Pentecostal church as the church you attend can affect your spiritual life. God's power moves in the Pentecostal churches. In them you can receive the sound biblical truths that will make you an overcomer and keep you till when Jesus comes for his spotless church. Father Ada of Alele Jesus said in Matthew 24, 4-5 that take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. We are in the end time when everything is coming to pass according to the word of God. As a result of this, Satan is desperately training his agents and pushing them out to deceive many. Father Ada of Alele is one of these agents of Satan. This father of Alele is one of those sent to deceive the world. He does this through the working of miracles. He has been imbued with the power of working demon miracles. People are flocking to him to get their problems solved. Those who do not want to seek first the kingdom of God in order to achieve the God-given miracle are being deceived by this man. We should all bear in mind that miracle working is not a yardstick to access a good woman slash man of God but rather the fruit of the spirit that one bears, 1 COR 13 1-13, Gal 5.22-23, Rev 16-14, 19-20. He has appeared and established himself to deceive people. He is a spiritual demonic man who operates on level 999 a higher level than the one on which Olumba Olumba Obu operates. Father Ada went to India to acquire some special salt that can transfer seven international demons. He has set aside Saturday as a special day of giving out demons to people. He conjures demons into the Salt from Monday to Friday. Some demons have been assigned, in the spiritual world, to assist him. In this task and to guide against any leak of his secrets. But it should be noted that there is nothing. The devil does that is hidden since Christ has made an open show of him, Colonel 2.15, Hebrew 4.13. 23 This father normally asks people to come to him with cans of water, which he will add some salt to win brought to him so that they can have miraculous solution to their problems. People go to him from different walks of life to get their cans of water salted. When such water cans have been salted, seven international demons automatically inhabit each of them accompanied with withdrawal spirits. On getting home these people, working according to instructions, sprinkle this salted water in over their homes thereby distributing and assigning demons to different parts the water has touched. 
At night they will begin to have horrible and terrible dreams. Because of the presence of the demons, their problems would appear to have been solved. Because of the influence of the presence of the withdrawal spirit, but after some time they problems will reappear. They would go back to collect other demons home in the salted water. Cans thereby increasing their troubles or problems. The Bible says in Titus 1 colon 15 16 unto thee. Pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable, and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobates. From this chapter you can deduce again how the devil employs human beings as his agents to carry out his crafty and deceitful operations in order to lure people away from the true God. Chapter 10 Some Heights of Attainment or Qualifications There are different degrees or levels of spiritual attainment in the demonic world. 1. Graduates from one level to another in a regular order. In the spirit world, there is a long blackboard on which is written all the names of the powerful men of God. Under this board is written and declared untouchable. If any demonic agent succeeds in bringing about the fall of any of them, he will be highly promoted. However, the promotion of the devil is destructive and definitely lands one in hell fire but the promotion of God is genuine and brings blessing he adds no sorrow to it. Psalm 75 colon 6, PROV 1022 Essentially, I was promoted to level 999 higher level, a level of spiritual wickedness in high places as the Bible records in F612 after I had submitted over 2000. 2000, souls and the men of God I brought low. I was automatically assigned three. International demonic bodyguards known by the names of Maha, Mahak, N. Mashak. Satan also gave me 250 pythons to act as my guards. Then I was qualified to see hell fire. Note that hell fire is not situated in the air but underground. When it was opened for me, I saw horrors, people who were in perpetual torture and agony. It is a place full of grief sorrows, without sympathy, a place where there is no friendship, filled with people crying had I known a place where you cannot find water, where the worms do not die and the fire does not quench. Revelation 21 colon 8 Mark 944, if God should open our spiritual eyes to see hell fire, we will become more serious. With our Christian lives. Those who call sin enjoyment and therefore dwell in sin do not know what lies ahead of them. If you die without being saved by the Lord Jesus, you definitely will land in hell fire, John 3,16-18. As I stated above, hell fire is not located in the air but underground. This is the reason. God is setting people free from the underground in order to expose the devil's activities. If after reading this book, you still harden your heart through unbelief, you will to hell fire. And your blood will be upon you head, Ezekiel 319. Know that Christ has paid the whole price for our redemption. F1 colon 7, Colonel 114. 24 in every minute of the day, hundreds of people die while daily thousands of people die. Those who die without Christ will appear in a straight line in hell where the devil will be asking them series of questions after which they will be thrown into everlasting place of torture. Luke 16 colon 1931, Rev 2015, Hear now the voice of the Lord as there is no remedy or repentance in hell, Hebrew 927, Now is the accepted time, today is the day of salvation. Today if ye hear his voice, harden not your hearts, Hebrew 3 colon 7b-8 a. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved, Acts 16.31 The devil is very much aware of the terrifying and horrifying nature of the fire in hell. I was with the devil one of those days before my conversion when he started to weep, regrettably acknowledging the fact that heaven is a beautiful abode and that hell is a terrible place. 
As a result of this, he told me he would not want to suffer the agony in hell. Alone and so was therefore making all efforts to increase the number of those he would like to weep with him in hell fire. For this purpose, he has secured the services of some special agents, the Jehovah Witnesses, to deceive people that hell fire is not real. If they can succeed in this effort, then people will begin to behave the way they like. In addition, the devil has also commissioned the high occult members to go into the world to deceive mankind. They are not worthy of being accommodated in the house because they possess dangerous powers and handle the truth in an unrighteous manner. They are ever learning and can never come to the knowledge of the truth, 11 Timothy 3 7, except they come to accept the Lordship of Christ who is the only way, truth, and life, John 14 6. Supposing hell fire is not real I would have done away with my Bible and gone back to continue my demonic operations, but I know that God is real and will no more go back to do those things that lead one to hell. I have seen it and have read about it in the Bible. That settles the matter. Revelation 19 hours 20 minutes and 20 seconds, 14 to 15, Matthew 5 colon 22 b, Mark 9 43, 45 to 48. Let us go back to the concern of this section of the book, Qualifications. When I attained level 999 higher level, I was given various honors, ordained. These included level 999. Degree 12, 12, 12 ultimate 444 and the power behind invocation of papers in a pen called MMD.P, Mystical Micro Diamond Pen. If this pen is issued to anyone, he would do brilliantly well in any task that requires writing whether one goes to school for learning or not, with this pen one can pass any examination. Certainly, the devil will not promote you without using you to achieve a devilish goal to land you in a place of agony. With the attainment of level 999, I was automatically qualified to withstand the seventh horror of the devil. We were all 800, 800. Level 999 candidates who were qualified to withstand this seventh horror of the devil. To be able to withstand this horror, all of us were made to be present at where the devil was. Going to appear in cloud nine and tried to enact how he was thrown down from heaven. As he did this, there was lightning and earthquakes at the sixth horror. Of all of us, 800, who were there to withstand the seventh horror. 790, 790, died instantly. Leaving only 10, 10, of us alive. I must confess that my survival was not based on any power I possessed but because my life has been predestined for eternal life by the Lord. Following my success at withstanding the seventh horror, I was qualified to enter the inner chamber of the devil to hear his secret of secrets. However, Satan, has nothing to conceal. Because all his secrets are open to the Lord who reveals them to the Christians, Amos 3 colon 7. PROV 332b, Daniel 222. When I entered the inner chamber of Satan, I did not see any light. Rather everywhere was covered with darkness how the title king of darkness befits him. The devil asked me to listen to him attentively while he spoke to me. He confided in. 25. 